Basically, he says, Alpo has a message for me. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, B. Octavia. Today, I know you see the title. I got dissed. You feel me? For the video that I did on Alpo, Alpo Part 1. I just released Alpo Part 2. I said what I said. And I got dissed off the first one. So, if y'all haven't seen... The video where I got dissed, I will not be putting a link to it in my description because I was not plugged in his video. But, I'm going to tell y'all verbatim how it went and I'm also going to react to a couple of things and respond to this YouTuber that called me out. If you guys don't know, it's a fucking heat wave on the East Coast right now, so... So, I haven't been uploading like that, but this job like just lit a fire under my ass. But, anyways, back to the video. Let me spray some, uh, some rose water. Let me, let me get the glowing in this bitch. One second. Alright. Up for Debate TV called me out. He says, Alpo has a message for me. He on this call, you know what I'm saying, with supposedly Alpo himself. I'm skeptical. Just like you did in the video. Let me, let me, let me, let me, hold on. Oh shit, Alpo calling me. Yeah, what's up, Alpo? Yeah, you know, I'm doing my little YouTube shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people... They think I don't know you and shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, um, yeah, I was talking my shit. You know what I'm saying? But I want you to know I'm a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? And anything that I said in the video, I say to you and to whoever want to hear it. All right? Peace. So that was that was my phone call with Alpo. Since since you did a fake phone call as well, I mean, I think I think you know I deserve to talk to uh, imaginary Alpo too. If you wanna respond to that, put him on speakerphone so I know it's real. Before there are idle threats being sent my way, you feel me? And apparently. They want to get um OJ, OJ to do some um shit. You know what I'm saying? Do the same shit to me and shit. That's a threat. But anyways, he said, "I hope that I didn't offend you." You know what I'm saying? So I'll say that in the beginning of mine. I hope I don't offend you, old man. But here we go. The first thing that I remember that he called out was the Dimencio thing that I talked about. And what I said was, it was some whole shit to have a problem with somebody and walk up to them and shake their hand and have somebody shoot behind you. It's some sucker shit. Your response was, that's how shit go? But why does shit have to happen like that? Can we for one second change the fucking narrative of how shit is supposed to go in the hood? Because everybody got fucking hoods. You know, the Italians got hoods, the Mexicans got hoods, the Chinese people got hoods. They even got hoods in London. This not how it go everywhere. So why the fuck do we gotta be so grimy just because we black? That's what I'm saying. Another part of this video, he talking about the first time he met Alpo. I'm not really sure of that. You need some receipts with that as well. 1981, I mean, please. The Black Barbie thing, that's real cute. You know what I'm saying? That's that's real cute of you. Um, You spent your money on that. And if it's your child's, you should just put it back in the play bin. But... The idle threats saying you should watch what you say about this person and that person, it's not going to work with me, love. It's not going to work an inch. Because at the end of the day, like I said in my Alpo part two, a lot of people think that I shouldn't be talking about what I'm talking about because I'm a woman. And that's fucked up. And that's sexist. 
And we're not going to do that in 2019. I'm going to talk about what exactly I want to talk about. If there's a story that I followed and that I'm intrigued in, I'm going to talk about it. But moreover, you know, the black Barbie is cute. This nigga really got Team Alpo wristbands. So, my thing is, are you Team Alpo like... You're glorifying every single thing that he did, including snitching. What are you team Alpo for? That is my question to you. And what you didn't make clear in the video, what you absolutely didn't make clear was, what was the message? Because he wasn't on speakerphone. So what was the message for me? I want to hear what he has to say about it. A job in D.C., that's a threat. But my question is, if I was a nigga, would you have this same energy? Or do you have this energy because I am a woman? And you saying your morals is no women, no children. So tell me why you're riding for somebody who doesn't have morals like that. And just as easy as he could kill the rich, he could kill Andre, he can kill all these people. He could have turned around and did the same shit to you. But you got on a Team Alpo wristband. And first of all, don't play with me telling some OJ going on. OJ ain't gonna do shit. OJ old as shit. Catch OJ in his prime. You gotta get a time machine, bitch. And this is my thing. Don't ever try to call me out for telling the youth how they should move. We don't always have to move like these quote-unquote OGs of the past. Because it didn't work for them either. So, when are we going to start moving different so that we can get a better outcome? You the one that's telling people the wrong shit. And you should be ashamed of yourself. You're older. You're an older man. And this is really what you glorify? Like, call me out. I'm calling you out. It's just as simple as that. This is just simply for clout. The whole phone call conversation, this is simply for clout. You feel me? Because just as easy you got on the phone, you could have put it on speaker and have him say what he need to say. He not scared like that. And this is my thing. If you really got a problem with what I'm saying, then make that clear. And I want people to know that it's okay to have a different point of view on who you feel like is an OG or not. It's okay. Don't feel so offended because I'm not talking about you at all. Yeah, I took a couple of jabs at Wayne Perry. Yeah, I took a couple of jabs at Alpo. And nobody can stop that. And like I said, this is the difference between me and a lot of people that do YouTube. Whatever I say about a person or event or whatever the fuck, I can say to that person that I'm talking about. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't no scared bone in my body. When I said him boasting about making millions and millions of dollars in D.C. alone is irrelevant because of how many people he snaked out to get there. That's what I'm talking about. Him making all that money, sure, that's admirable. Of course, anybody would want to make that type of money, but in the right way. We can't sit up and, and really try to say, oh, yeah, I look up to him because he made a lot of money. But how did he go about it? And can you go about it the same way and it'd be a different outcome? No. Honestly, I'm glad I got you mad. I'm glad I got you in your feelings about it. And I'm going to keep doing it. It's just as simple as that. And I feel like this needed to happen where I make videos like, like Real Talk Tuesday because I have a totally different outlook. And a lot of people respect me for it and a lot of people don't because they don't have that same type of outlook on life, on how you should move. If you knew, if you actually lived in this city and you knew how many young kids are losing their lives due to gun violence 
just last week alone then you would say well there's an issue here and what the fuck do you think the issue is these kids having nobody to look up to and nobody to guide them in the right way and nobody to have around them who are actual ogs in a way that you can look up to to everything that they've done and it be a lesson with Alpo, you can see, oh, he snaked his friends out. Well, that's something that I don't want to do, but I don't want to learn that lesson because I already know not to do that. So you called me out. You, you say something about the eyes and all that. That seemed pretty friendly to me. Yeah. I said a lot of people want to praise him for doing the fucked up shit that he did because of people like you. Team Alpo with the wristbands. Are you kidding me? What are you riding for? What are you riding for? You're an older man. You should be one not only better for yourself, but better for the younger generation. What the fuck can we really learn? From who? And, and it's not that I'm mad at Alpo. I'm not mad at Wayne Perry. I'm not mad at any nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But what I'm mad at is when I think about how many generations have been screwed because of them. You say it wasn't his intention to come down here and do what he did. It might not have been. But the way that it played out and how he wanted things executed, it was executed. And people were executed. So don't sit up here or make excuses for a guy who did what he did i know how grimy this city is this is my city i'm from here and i've never in my fucking life heard a no new york nigga coming down here building relationships and whatever the f and doing the fucked up shit that he did and saying my man this my man gary my man andre da -da -da. you can't say that that used to be your man, but in the instance where you snaked him out, and then snaked him out, and then got him to kill him, and then snaked him out, you can't say that. Why I'm mad or why I'm bothered about the simple fact that he was boasting about making so much money down here is because of the simple fact when niggas and young niggas hear shit like that, they automatically think that you got to go about stuff the way that he did. And you don't. That's why. Killed a few niggas in the process. And this is my problem right here. You're downplaying. The fact that he set up people that he was doing business with. You're downplaying the fact that he had 14 fucking charges and all of them was fucking murders and shit. Eight of them was here. Eight. That's even more than I talked about. What are you riding for? A lot of people said the same thing. I said the story's wrong. I got a lot of information wrong. This is my thing. I did research. Just because we came to a different conclusion and you idolize this man has nothing to do with my point of view. I'm sick of people thinking that you're supposed to always think the same. This is my opinion. And you're the one that seems mad about it. Because you riding for somebody who you shouldn't be riding for. And you're too old for it. Why did you kill Rich? Any answer that anybody gives me in the comments will not make sense because you're going to be taken up for and defending somebody who took a life and set it up. It makes no sense. I don't care about that. And, and, and you saying, okay, because he killed Rich because he taxed him on bricks. So that couldn't be a conversation. Change the fucking narrative. 
are we as black people supposed to always handle shit like that when somebody's stealing from us or or there's a miscommunication? That's not what the fuck we supposed to do. Because we're going to end up in the same fucking cage that he was in. When I said, I already talked about the consignment shit, okay? You're not putting up any money. So that's free. I understand that you're you're selling the bricks and then you're going to go back and give the plug the, the money that he's owed and then you keep what's, what's the rest. I understand that, but it's fucking free when you don't do a transaction where there's money in hand, give it to the plug, and then he gives you the drugs. You just got free drugs. It's just like that, everybody forgets the ran off on the plug shit. Do you not understand? When you run off on a plug, they're giving you the drugs for free. It's up to you to come back and give them the money that is owed for the bricks. Think. I understand that. But it's not yours. Again, you're making so many goddamn excuses for this man. And when I say you are not the shooter, meaning you didn't do what you wanted done, you got somebody else to do it, you're not an OG for that. So the simple fact that you're trying to verbatim knock down every single thing that I said and it's my point of view uh, you said so what he made some other niggas do some dirt he made some other niggas do some dirt he killed them niggas and the rest of the niggas he told them so is that how it's supposed to go you tell me